If there's one thing that YouTubers should not be doing, it's making games. Games are incredibly hard to make, and YouTubers are incredibly hard to make do anything of any value. So today we're gonna be looking at some YouTubers that have made games, very old games. It's time to take a look back in memory lane as Diamond Vault shows us what we missed out on. <laughs> How's it going, bros? Today we're gonna be talking about YouTuber mobile games. I figured when I was poking around the app store looking for these that I'd only find like three or four of them to talk about from what I could remember as a kid. And really I was only making this so I could talk about PewDiePie's- As a kid? Simulator. What? You never played Tuber Simulator. Cringe. And it turns out I was still kind of half What? Because you can only play about four of them. The majority of YouTube games that did exist have now been- Okay, I'm gonna be honest. The only YouTuber game that I know of is PewDiePie's YouTuber Simulator. I'm pretty sure at one point Max Mofo was gonna make a game, but I don't know if that went by the wayside, if that was discontinued. The games are hard to make. Uh, maybe mobile games aren't as hard to make, but for the most part, it's hard to program stuff. So you're gonna be hiring a team that's gonna do it for you. And you're probably gonna make a free to play mobile game, which means you need to shove it for all those microtransactions, baby. You gotta milk your fans for all they're worth. Let's go. I've been since lost to time forever with the only proof of their existence being like 10 year old- Smosh had a game? On someone's Nokia phone. I'll still try and talk about them, but it's obviously gonna be a lot less fun since, you know, I can't play them. And only official ones, by the way, so I am not going to be looking at the 10 trillion Markiplier dating sims. I know. What? No. Markiplier dating simulator is a dating simulator where you date Markiplier. Wow. Truly incredible game design. I'm sorry. So I feel like the former biggest channel on the whole site might be a good place to start. I was a massive PewDiePie fan as a kid. I started on the funny moments compilations <laughs> and then was hooked on the Slender Man gameplay from there. Which meant, of course, that any game he released, I was definitely going to sink at least 50 hours into. Fair enough. I think that uh, it was really cool that a YouTuber is able to make a game at all. I mean, when you have a massive audience, obviously it makes sense that you'd be able to put them on a game because you have a gaming audience and you play games and you're just like, oh, let's make our own game. But if you make your own game, you open yourself up to so much criticism. Like Video Game Donkey usually critiques other games, but he started a publishing studio where they're gonna release games too. And of course, the Reddit users will be tipping their fedoras thinking, oh, well, he says this about Uncharted 4, yet his video game has a graphical issue. Checkmate, Video Game Donkey. You've been annihilated. This one was Tuba Simulator, which I am almost entirely sure was responsible for my lack of any passing grades in year nine. But before we get to that one, there's actually- Oh, he's British. He said year nine. I didn't even realize until this point that Diamond Vault is British. Round of applause. Not as many people talk about. The newest one he's done is called Pixelings, which I have never heard of in my life. I, I guess that one must have come out like around the time when I wasn't watching as much YouTube because I was like, failing school. I was surprised that this one is an RPG, but it's good because your pixelings attack automatically, which means you don't actually have to play an RPG. He also had another one called Poop D that was taken off the app. This one confused me so much. I, do, I don't understand this. Why was this made? It's just gross. It's just disgust. It's like the binding of Isaac if it was just like really disgusting instead of like kind of disgusting. I've never understood why this was made. I understand that people have different appreciations of, of art and all artistic expression is, you know, good and it can be different in their own ways and it's all valid. But why the fuck do they make this? Inappropriate, apparently. What is this? Pee it right? Okay. What happened? Dude, what has that guy been drinking? Listen, I don't judge anyone for how they live their lives, but if you're pissed looks like primordial jelly, then maybe we need to figure out something. His first ever game though was PewDiePie Legend of the Brofist, which I played the crap out of as a kid. This one's a fully fledged 2D platformer complete with- That's like kind of cool. Million levels, fully voice acted cutscenes. There's a bunch of collectibles and items that I can't see because Apple won't let me get rid of this fucking gray line at the bottom of the screen. And you can play as Markiplier. A phone call. That's kind of sick. That was not really a good time. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier. Not that I'm fucking- <laughs> Really in the game? That's so funny. That's actually a genuinely good game. That looks really good. Enter anything, but the amount of variety in the earlier levels is honestly really impressive. Literally, you start the game, then you're jumping across moving cars on a highway, then Markiplier shows up in a jet in level two, then you're in a plane level dodging falling whales from the sky and fighting a flying tank, then in level four you fight a T-Rex in a subway. 
I didn't have time to play too much of it for this video because mum wanted me out of the basement, but I remember this one kept me entertained for so many hours on interstate trips with my parents because playing PewDiePie games was more important to me than making memories with my family. The controls were Facts. a little janky on mobile. Shout out to all those kids out there, all those playing a Pokemon on your Game Boy on the road trip. Shout out to all those, you're at the restaurant, but you need to beat the gym leader. Shout out to all those, no, I can't save, I'm in a battle right now. I see you. You're respected. You lived the same childhood I, that I lived. We we have a connection well, there. Market player does Gangnam Style, so not a whole what? lot to complain about. It reminds me a lot quality-wise of the angry video game nerd games, which I would also be talking about if they had mobile ports, but both of them are super impressive for being YouTuber games. But I know you all just want me to talk about Tuba Simulator, so... Whoa! Here we go. You haven't tried Tuba Simulator, seriously? After 50 million outros? Bye. It's crazy. I remember I first played Tuba Simulator within like the first two years that I started YouTube and I honestly preferred it to the real thing because at least in the game I could be successful. I have like- <laughs> Wait, oh you meant- <laughs> you preferred it to being a YouTuber. That's kind of funny. Make memories of sitting in the stalls in the school bathroom at lunchtime to play it. I didn't even need a shit, I just wanted to keep playing it. Uh, our school had a ban on phones to clarify. I, it... Wait, hold on a second. Look at that shit. background there. I just wanted to keep playing it. Uh, our this background, I think this background reminds me of something. This is Dylan's, not first background, but I can't pause the video. The, the video keeps unpausing itself. Why is this lagging so much? This is Dylan's background. So if you ever think that this background is is uh, unrealistic, just know that it is not. This is such a cool, This is I love this background. This is my favorite Dylan background. This is so good, it is awesome. So this is not an unrealistic background. School had a ban on phones to clarify. I, it wasn't that people didn't want to hang out with me, okay? Holy shit, I cannot tell you how many hours I put into this game. What a complete waste of time. Between this and Tiny Tower and The Simpsons Tapped Out, I genuinely did nothing of value for the first 17 years The Simpsons life. Tapped Out, oh my God. Is an endless cycle of making money that. to upgrade your equipment and decorate your room so you can be better at making money so you can Mr. upgrade Beast your equipment Fortnite. and decorate your room. All of the items you buy in game to spruce up your- I mean, that's all YouTube do they they make money so they can upgrade their equipments and decorate their room name one thing that youtuber has done apart from that that is not ksi buying a lamborghini take in-game time to arrive which means you can come back the next day and have like five million things to click on or you can speed it up using the game's in-game currency bucks which obviously like every other mobile game ever made you can either earn by doing missions or, you know, busting out your mum's credit card. There are quests that you can do that give you brains that upgrade a skill tree so you can be better at your job. You can shove one of his pugs down a pachinko game to shave a whopping two seconds off the shipping time. And you can visit other <laughs> what? people's rooms online. Dude, oh my god, these rooms are like kind of amazing though. What the hell? I love, oh, it has those dogs. I feel so sad. One of his dogs passed away now. Dude, PewDiePie has literally completed YouTube. He has completed YouTube. He's doing the epilogue now. He did everything that he needed to do. He finished it. He was like, all right, I'm going to go live in Japan and do the epilogue where he just went off, flew away, got a new dog and had a baby. See how insignificant and shit you are. Your other currency are views, which just like in real life, you get from making videos that you can then use to buy new items and make the place look a little less accurate to my real life work environment. And my original room in this game was fucking awesome, okay? I have zero proof of this. But Jesus Christ, that's an insane yours. room. I can confirm as a full-time YouTuber that yeah, this is a pretty accurate experience. The entire job- Can you be a, can you be a VTuber in this? though is my question. Just never leaving your room and waiting for Amazon packages to arrive. Nowadays though, Tuba Simulator like isn't really my thing. I mean, none of the games where like the goal is just to endlessly play it really are anymore. Are there any really, really good mobile games out right now? I don't really play mobile games. I can't get into them. Just the microtransactions and the need to wait to be able to play things. I don't know, it's like, do people play like Honkai Star Impact or whatever the, what's Genshin, Genshin Star Rail? <laughs> like Tiny Tower, but that's because that one's like the GOAT. But they definitely go down in quality from here because the next ones we're looking at are from the Annoying Orange. So no. unfortunately there are two no. Annoying Orange games. The first is like one of those flash games like Learn to Fly or Toss the Turtle if you- <gasps> They were so good, I used to play them in school! Oh my god, I used to love Toss the Turtle. Toss the Turtle, Swords and Sandals, Learn to Fly, Age of War, all those Flash games. Man, this is bringing back so many good memories now. Where your objective is just to launch a random fruit as far as you can, but with a baseball element that doesn't work half the time. With the end goal of brutally murdering the fruit you are given by dropping them in a blender or a- I cannot describe how much it confuses me that there, there is a, an audience for Annoying Arch to this day. I'm pretty sure he has his own TV show or you made a, like a movie or something. 
I don't understand. Everything about the annoying orange has just grated on me. Not in a good way. Not in an endearing kind of, aw, he's, he's a little bit of a dick, but you know, we kind of love him kind of way. Ever since I first saw that little critter, I'd never liked it. Electrocuting them. Like, if they don't at least die horribly, the game will penalize you for it. All of this while Orange Good. sits in the corner and insults you the entire time. Yikes! Even I could have done better. And I don't have hands! Kill you. I will- I will kill you. Yes! Yes! You would think that would make you not want to play the game, Yes. Right? Because that would mean you'd have to listen to Orange talk. But even if you don't do anything, he still won't shut the fuck up. Are you gonna do anything? There are power-ups that you can get- God, I hate his teeth. Slightly less shit, but there's not really a sense of progression like you would have in those other games. Also, if you miss any of the shots, the game counts down until you run out of balls and then asks you to pay for it to keep playing. <laughs> How are they gonna pay for it? There's no one that watches Annoying Orange over the age of nine. Oh, they're just gonna steal their parents' credit card, of course. The other one, Kitchen Carnage, looks considerably crustier. Uh, it's a paper toss clone where you throw fruit straight into a blender, which is very hard to do without a proper death. You just kill clone. them. It's got three That's modes. much better. Classic balloon mode, which makes it a little easier to hit things. And endless, if you want to torture yourself, I guess. And yeah, that's about all the surviving ones I could find that aren't from today's generation of YouTubers. Wow, wasn't that exciting. So now we Wait, that's it? Tag with Ryan from- No, Ryan's toy reviews? Ryan's World. You know that exploited <sighs> child slave on YouTube that has like- How old is Ryan now? He's on a video where he plays with toys in a pool for five minutes. His game is a half-decent Subway Surfer clone with the exact same three-lane mechanic, same magnet power-up, same daily objectives. Do you think that Ryan's still gonna be making those videos when he's like 21? I can imagine that the parents won't just let him stop until he moves out, right? I wonder if the parents are gonna st st like just take all the money. I imagine they're probably good parents. I like to imagine everyone is a good parent, that they're just setting him up for life. Like that kid is sorted for his entire life now, like millions. He's got a pile of millions that he can dive into. His university is sorted. His house is sorted. His car is sorted. His life is sorted. He's done. He has generational wealth. Hopefully. And you're chased by like a panda with a PewDiePie headset, which is probably a character from his videos, but I am not watching that shit to find out, dude. Because Ryan's parents haven't sucked enough money out of their child yet, the game uses pizza slices as currency, so you can do things like continue a run after accidentally drowning a small child, which will cost you like $2 <laughs> to get 75 or $3 to get 200 You can- I mean, that is a pretty good way to revitalize a child. Just give them pizza. Yeah, he's from doing missions or sitting through Monster High doll ads, though. So at first I was surprised what? that this one was- Monster really High? Scummy it's not a that I played. But wait, it's coming. I, I was poking around in the menus, and I was honestly kind of surprised by how much content there is. There's like 2 million skins in the game, all of which you need pizza for, and a list of vehicles that cost like a shit ton of slices. And then on top of that- Imagine trying to explain that to your parents. Like, mom, 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 please, please, please. You have to buy me pizza slices in the Ryan's game or I won't be able to get all the skins. And the child's, the, the, the parents is looking at the child like, oh God, where did I go wrong? What there happened? Are also sons to give you upgrades that cost even more, way more money. 60,000 like sons. sons forever, $3 for a permanent head start, $8 for three random Ryan costumes so you can get Samu Ryan or Invisa Ryan who I think is naked, or what, what the fuck? play the game. This is another one that I honestly would have played for longer if they had used some of Ryan's Why? $16 million a year to hire an actual composer instead of endlessly looping royalty-free music. Ryan also has an actual physical game on actual real consoles. Oh my God. With Ryan, uh, but unfortunately playing that would require me to give Ryan's world more money. Kings of Never Leave. $46. Dude Perfect have made a few games that have all since been taken down, all except Why? for Endless Ducker, where you you infinitely run through a building that is probably accurate to the size oh, of their 100 million dollar mansion. What? Okay, Dude Perfect has a one. Dude Perfect is a crazy YouTube channel to me because it's a YouTube. It's a YouTube channel that I see no one ever talk about anymore. But I know it's still really, 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 really big. No one ever talks about Dude Perfect. They stay in the lake. They have 60, almost 60 million subscribers and get millions and millions and millions of views on every single video. But. They're quiet. They're quiet as a mouse. No one talks about them. It's the crazy. The buttons you get are jump and slide, and either I am really bad at games, or you need to actually have the Mate, this looks wank, I'm gonna be honest. of one of the Dude Perfect members to not immediately die in 10 seconds. The Odd Ones Out has a game where your goal is just to hurl him as far as That's you cool. can, which reminds me a ton of like all of those old games I used to play on like Cool Maths. No, I can't believe every single game that I used to play 
at school on Flash when I was 11 years old is in this video. I love this. Com. So I can imagine kids nowadays losing their minds over this one. All right, and now for the ones that I can't play anymore, which unfortunately is where the majority of these are going to be. There's a Gangnam Style game? Graveyard at this point. With how popular Smosh was back in the day with their comics and magazines and even a movie, it's not at all a surprise to me that they also released a whole bunch of mobile apps that you all can't play anymore. Like Super Head Exploder X, where the gimmick was like that you could take- Smosh just did everything, man. Put in the, game. the company that bought Smosh just absolutely wrung them dry. They milked them like the most fertile dairy cow in existence. Blow up, which Nintendo ripped off for Face Raiders two years earlier. Their biggest one though was Food Battle the Game, which was one they crowdfunded two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for. That wow. hasn't been accessible since twenty seventeen. So rip oh. to anyone that funded that one, I guess. There was I don't think that that upset, to be honest. I don't think anyone was genuinely like, yo, Smosh Food Battle, my favorite game of all time. You got Halo, you got Skyrim, you got Baldur's Gate, you got all those. Pff, fuck that, guys. I got Smosh Food Battle. That'll keep me tied over for a also, long time. Jack's films is Be Funny Now. I mean, technically, you can still download this one, but you can't play it uh, just for different reasons, though, because you can't actually get a match. I mean, it does give you the Aww. option to have a private match, and I appreciate that the game thinks I can get eight of my friends to be online at the same time. I did see he made like a video like late last year addressing why the game failed. Number eight, no nudity. And, and he mentioned <laughs> that, like after the game like died, they sort of updated and revamped it a bit to make it more like Jackbox from my understanding. But the fact that I can't get a match now is probably not a good sign. Hey, three. That's a shame because you put so much time and effort. I assume. For someone like Jack's films, I feel like he put a lot of effort and a lot of love into that game. And, you know, once it flops, it flops. It's it's not going to be able to be revitalized. There's only so much you can do, so... H3 had a game called do. Wall Rider that was made by the same guys who did Chuba Simulator. God, there's so many of these. There was a Fred game on Mini Clip that just oh, straight no. up won't load. Tabuscus nice. also had a crowdfunded game called, like, Tabuscus Adventure Wizards that you can't get on iOS anymore, but you can still play on Steam, though. What the? Whoa, whoa, this one looks like an actual isometric RPG. What, what's going on? Released it in 2020. I'm sorry. Does, does Tobuscus still have the pull to release a video game in 2020? The Tobuscus branding removed, which is. Oh, it got the Tobuscus branding removed. Right. No, that makes sense, actually. Probably for the best. There was an app where you could endlessly shove meat into Harvey from Epic Meal Times' mouth that has its own Wikipedia page, but not an available download link. Tom. Well, who wouldn't want to do that, you know? I made a game with a bunch of other YouTubers in it called Cat Attack, which genuinely looks fucking awesome, but got taken off the App Store when the devs went bust. But thank God That's I a can shame. play Morgz's Ultimate Challenge, a game that has proven Morgz. to me that mobile game ads are not even fucking trying anymore. Bro, stop. <laughs> Oh, bro. And yeah, that's about all of them. Well, I didn't know Mr. Beast Burger. So depressing. Uh, Brofist. <laughs> They're all dead. All the all the video all the video games are dead. Uh, gaming is dead. Listen, if my favorite YouTubers can't release a game that continues and is popular to this day, then gaming is dead. People out here playing Tears of the Kingdom. Why play Tears of the Kingdom when you can play Chuba Simulator, a real video game for the most hardcore gamers?